Okay, today I want to look at the return of Lash Talakadze as he builds back from what was a extremely tense, tight, close competition between him and Lalian and uh, Manassian at the World Championships. <laughs> So most of these videos are on Dr. Georgie's profile, but Lash took a lot of time off. And as you'll see here with these slightly narrower than normal, almost like a, a mix between a snatch and a clean grip that was, uh, muscle snatches, um, you'll notice that he's a lot smaller right now, at least in this video. I mean, he looks like he has lost 20, 30 kilos here, in all honesty. When I saw him at the World Championships, I thought that he looked a lot smaller too. Uh, this is 160 kilos, just for some some snatch pulls plus what looked like maybe a snatch. I actually wonder if he missed that because that was his first session back after about a month and 10 days after competing. Um, and so what happened was he actually did lose some weight. I'm just going to flick through these so we can watch them while, while I go through. So already up to a full muscle snatch at this point. Um, he has lost weight. When we saw him at the World Championships, he looked smaller. I mean, at the World Championships the year prior, he was about 183. That was the biggest he ever got. That's where he put forward the biggest total of all time, biggest snatch, clean and jerk, and total ever. There's 140. Uh, but at this World Championships, I think he weighed in at about 165 kilos. I can't remember exactly, but I commented on it on the live commentary. Uh, and you could tell he was he was weaker from it. He's been suffering apparently a bit of a, a bit of a heart issue from from what I've heard from various different sources. So I think the doctors kind of said to him, look, you've got an issue here. Like you're putting a lot of strain on your body uh, and, you know, your heart is, is, is struggling with it. You're lifting a lot of weight. You're carrying around a lot of load. The demand that you're putting on your body this whole time isn't easy and you've kind of got to do something about it. So that's why Lasher lost that weight, as far as I know, for the World Championships. And then here's 170. And then coupled with the fact that that looks pretty good, uh, coupled with the fact that there was high altitude, Here's 180 uh, at Bogota, Colombia. He just really struggled. You know, when he, he missed that opening attempt in the clean and jerk, uh, I think he missed the, the jerk or the jerk was a press out, something like that. Anyway, remember he had to make that third attempt and he kind of ran out to make it. So here's 190 now. I mean, he's, yeah, he already looks like he's gained some mass. But with, with that third attempt clean and jerk from the World Championships, apparently he was, you know, he was lying on the floor. I think they were giving him oxygen like over his face, like trying to get as much oxygen back into his body as possible. That's 205. And that looks as it should. It looks very easy. But already I'd say that Lash is looking a little bit bigger there. So here he is now. He's up at 160 kilos. Uh, but I think this training cycle for him is really important because, you know, at the European Championships, we saw the first kind of chink in his armor. That was the first time. This was back at the end of, in fact, it was early June where he, he won, but, you know, it wasn't so easy. You know, Lallian certainly pushed him. Um, and then we thought, okay, well, maybe he's going to return. You know, he had that leg injury prior to the European Championships. That was his excuse for it, and it was a valid excuse, of course. Uh, but then at this World Championships, there's Dr. Georgie looking very fresh, thanks to Dr. Georgie. Every time I see him at these competitions, he gives me some type of Georgian alcohol, which is very cool. So big shout-out to Dr. Georgie. Uh, here's 180. Um, but, yeah, going into the World Championships... Power clean, that looks good. Power clean, front squat, jerk. Um, yeah, apparently because of that injury on the one leg, he then started biasing his other leg, shifting over a little bit. That then caused an injury to his other leg. So that's why he then had taping on his right leg rather than his left leg, which I think we see in some of these videos, a little bit of taping on what was previously the non-injured leg. Uh, and he found the World Championships very difficult, you know, losing weight, the altitude, these various injuries that he's been suffering. Right here we've got 250 uh, and one set at 270. Um, and so, you know, he had a tough time. And and it was a really, really exciting competition between them. I mean, if we look at uh, Lallian's last few performances, you know, he's gone 445, 457, 451, 461. 461 he did at the World Championships. Uh, just now and then don't forget the fact that Gormanassian beat him with 462 he now holds all the Asian records um, he's looking stronger than he's ever looked and he missed that snatch at 215 or 216 which I thought he was going to make if he'd have made that he might have won this world championships so Lasher is under more pressure than we've ever seen him before which is why this is so exciting to see here he is already six doubles at 130 kilos I mean this is 
This is a lot of volume for a big guy like this, but he's just getting in as much volume as he can at this lighter weight right now. Um, not that I've ever snatched 130, um, but I've cleaned it and it doesn't feel very light. Um, so six doubles there, he's just getting in a lot of work, just trying to build as much of a kind of fitness level as possible so that he can get to the point where he can do the heavy lifts required to make sure he beats everyone. For example, here, 230 by seven. I mean, we've seen him back squat about 330. We assume he can squat about 370. So 230 is what, 65%, something like that, of, of 370. Uh, it's not particularly heavy for him, but he's doing all of these reps, just building as much as possible. Okay, here we go, 140 for set of four. Now this, going off the blocks, it just reduces the overall workload. You don't have to pull from the floor. It saves the lower back. It increases the kind of speed requirements. It reduces the technical difficulty of the pull. It allows you to just work on the turnover. Um, two triples at 160 and then what does it say 180 for three doubles and 190 for a single now didn't he say that he started on the 25th of january and it's now the 15th of february so it's been 20 days that's insane so 20 days and he's already looking like he might have gained a little bit of weight but not a lot he's still looking relatively svelte for a lash uh, and he's moving quick but i think there comes a time in um a lot of these sort of legends weightlifting careers where they experience adversity for the first major time and i'm sure he's had lots of issues but like to me this is it he was just on a rise and a rise he went above anyone ever except for naeem and sinclair uh, and then something happened and he dropped now if he never goes up again and he continues winning but only by a kilo maybe he loses a few and he retires he still goes down as you know, maybe the second best ever, one of the all-time greats, absolutely. But it's if he's able to then reverse this and go back into the 480s, the 490s, and push towards that 500, that's the thing that is going to make him, it, to my mind, sort of like undeniably the, the GOAT. Uh, but we'll have to see. Here's 190 for, uh, I guess, a single. Or did he do a rep and then he came back for a second rep like he sometimes does? I was not paying enough attention to what he was doing. That was some good speed. He looks good. I mean, I guess he's staying below the 200 kilo mark for a little while. Here we have 285. Why does it say... Oh, there are 325s outside. 320, 220, 305. Strength's coming back. I mean, that's very impressive. And then drops it behind. We have people in the comment section asking why he drops it. People get so annoyed when they see Will just do it. Because they're done. He's done. Maybe he's got some pulls to do. It's work. It's effort. It's fine to drop the bar. It's just so normal. Uh, oh, okay. So I saw this one pop off my feed. Um... And I thought it was interesting. This is partly why I wanted to do this video. Back squat plus jerk. This is about the most uh, sort of far away variation that we've seen him do. You know, back squat is not as specific as a front squat, which is not as specific as a clean. And then a behind the net jerk compared to a from in front jerk is very, you know, it feels different. It really does. I mean, you're supposed to be able to lift more. The Soviets say you should be able to, or Soviets said you should be able to do about 10% more behind the neck than in front. I never found that. I could never match my jerk from the front behind. I, I remember trying like in the 140s over and over, could never do it. Uh, but from the front, it wasn't too much of an issue. So he's just done it with 230 kilos. Let's see it again. I mean, what they say is that it reduces the technical component because you don't have to think about getting your head back and then pushing your body straight forward through. Like the bar's already over a good center of gravity. Um, I just find that I have no drive there. That looks pretty good. I wonder if they're doing things to work on his lockout because, you know, the 267 that he did last year, he got called for initially. It was a little bit dodgy and then they gave it to him. And then here's some more snatches. Oh, 200 it says he's going to do. What a great place to finish off this video. Uh, but then, yeah, of course, at this World Championships, he got called for a press out as well. So I do wonder if that's that's what's going on here. 
Oh, and he's wearing wrist straps, which is a great segue to let you guys know that the Weightlift House rip straps are a little bit cheaper now. They are $19.99. They're £15.99. We dropped the prices on them after some um, conversations with people. Our reviews of these wrist straps, though, are incredible. If you look at them on Amazon, if you look on them on the website, everybody says that they're the best wrist straps they've ever used for weightlifting. So uh, if you like a lot of support, get these. We're going to bring out some more um, lower profile ones at some point, which won't be quite the same, but... Uh, like quite the same level of support they'll just be more for warmth and mobility i suppose whereas these are actually physically stronger like they help you lift more which is cool uh so you can check them out there's 200 he looks fast doesn't he he always looks a bit faster when he's lighter which is no surprise and you always know that it's you know going to be a good comeback when he changes his hairstyle he's had a lot of hairstyles over the years he's looking good here that gray head <laughs> That was the best of all three. What a place to end. So is Lasher going to return to where he left off? Uh, or at least where he got to? It Was that the peak that we saw in 2021? Is that the heights that we're going to get to? Or is he going to come back and beat them again? Who knows? I don't know. I certainly still believe, uh, hence the t-shirt. But who knows? Uh, let me know what you think down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe for more of this sort of stuff too.